So day of, there we are in this five-star hotel. It's a hotel where the Oscars were created. And so it's like this elaborate, like old vintage hotel with artwork on the ceilings. There's like a DJ playing loud music. Just pumping up the crowd and everything. They open the doors and celebrities are coming in. And there we are like standing in this, this cubicle with all of our bow ties. And it was just, gosh, five hours of craziness, like mayhem. So we used to make bow ties for fallen soldiers and their families um, out of their old uniforms. So we would take their uniforms and make them into bow ties and put them in shadow boxes. And um, it sort of just snowballed and I had this shirt in my closet that was damaged and I was going to donate it to the thrift store. And I was like, well, like I know how to make bow ties out of, you know, shirt type fabric. And so I made a bow tie out of it and started wearing it around and people just loved it. And when they asked about it, they loved the story behind it. And so that's really what this is, is it's a story brand about like where this fabric came from and what it used to be. The crazy thing about this business is that it was a hobby in my living room. You know that I kind of, like it was a craft project and morphing that into a business is such a bigger undertaking and figuring out how you do that in a great way that's socially responsible because you have a business aspect, you have a way that like you want to make money, you want it to be sustainable in that way but you also want it to be sustainable in the way that it does social good. And so now it's going to be an option on our website where when they buy a bow tie and they're checking out, they can choose from a list of vetted nonprofits to give 20% of their proceeds of the tie that they're buying to that nonprofit. So my passion for doing social good or giving back really stems from, in high school, I came out to my high school and my parents and my family and was kind of bouncing around in between houses, living out of my car in different areas and really relied on the support of the people around me. And like without the charity or without the altruism of the people around me, I would not be where I am today, period. Um, so I think that it's really important that I give that back to people, even if they're not the people that gave it to me, but give it back in a way that's supportive for people who are struggling. It's not all about your profit margins. It's not all about um, getting production costs lower. It's about getting production costs in the right area um, to create a model of sustainability.